This is your Excel spreadsheet for measuring your cabbage plants. You should, by the time you see this video, have a few weeks uh, of data input. I'm going to do it just as I go along in this video. So if you um, put in your plant height, and I'm just making this up, so yours should not look like this, but you're measuring in centimeters. So if week one, the height, if you have two plants, if you only have one, just do the one. Uh, but for week one, the height of your um, one plant is two centimeters, and the height of your second plant is two centimeters, and the width is much wider. It's probably six centimeters wide. And so then the next week you'll come here and you will input the height. It's grown uh, quite a bit. It's now three centimeters, and it's seven, and one plant is eight centimeters. On the third week, uh, it's kind of maintained here. It's three centimeters, three centimeters, but it is getting wider, uh, much wider growing. So I'm just putting in the these numbers. These are make-believe numbers, and uh, yours better not look like this. So here we go. Let me just finish it out. The height will be, it'll grow five, it'll grow six, it'll grow six, and it'll grow seven. This one on the other hand is mammothly growing by leaps and bounds. You fertilized it and didn't fertilize the other one. It might be a science experiment. And the width, um, the width, it's getting um, a little wider. Then it kind of tapers off about the same. 12 and 13 and it stays at 12 and this one goes up to 15. So I've input all my data and um, you're going to have some other assignments with this but one of the things I want you to practice doing here is making a graph with your data. So all I'm going to do is click and drag over my information that I have and I highlight it. And when I do, I'm going to come up here to the Charts tab. And I think that I would like to make a column bar graph. So I'm going to pick one of these. I'm going to pick um, 3D column. And when I do, it, um, it looks like this. And I can easily compare. Um, the height of these and I can see the height of plant one that's the blue the height of plant two and red green purple now if I if I choose to do something different um, I can I can look like this but that doesn't give me very good information so you just kind of need to pick and choose what is the best a way to graph this. But I kind of like how that looks on this graph. Now it's not uh, giving me every detail. A graph always needs a name and it needs the X and Y axis labeled, um, which we, we haven't done here. But I want you to take the time to create a little um, chart to go with your data and this is just uh, a simple easy way to do that and probably you need a column graph when you are showing this growth although it's change over time you could also do a line graph if you chose to so just wanted to give you this and you'll have it for your assignment soon